welcome to my video. So in this video, I just want to talk about, I've been using what, Fedora 40 for about, I don't know, a few weeks now. It's been a while, right? Been using it for a while, maybe even less than that, I guess. But other than that, like this is the longest I use Wayland with my NVIDIA GPU on proprietary, um, what's this? mute that music in the background because Final Fantasy 14 is playing and on my other computer which that computer just runs Final Fantasy 14 like 24 7 it's a very big computer um, but it just runs that game all the time and that's fine because that's what that machine is designed to be a, a gaming machine it's a, it's a it's a PC game machine um, this computer here is capable of playing good games as well. I mean, it's it's the same CPU as that machine, which is their boat, a Ryzen 7 5700X. Uh, 5700X, yeah. Um, both over 32 gigabytes. That one's a 32 gigabytes, the, the, the gaming VCC. This one here is a 48 gigabyte machine, which has a little bit more memory on it. Nothing really fancy but it does have a little bit more memory. Though it, the motherboard is not as good as the other one. Um, the game machine has the B550A, which is it's the same thing as the B550F, it's just white. But other than that, they're basically the same motherboard. Um, this one here, the one I'm not using to record this video right now, as you're seeing, it uses a uh, ASUS Prime. So it's not an ROG Strix motherboard, it's a Prime motherboard. But they're both ASUS computers, but this is just a little bit cheaper than the ROG Strix. Though, the motherboard is not bad. It's actually not a bad mobile, but I should have got the B550F, but whatever. Though, I love the case. I love the, the ASUS Tough case is completely a lot nicer than the Corsair 4000D. The Corsair 4000D is not a bad case. I like it. I think it's a good case, right? But the, the ASUS Tough case, I gotta say, is probably the best computer case I ever have. I just think it looks really good. It's it's a very nice case. It's, it's a really nice case. It's a well put together case for the price. Fans on that case too is actually not too bad. I've been using that case for, for a while now and the fans are pretty good. I can't complain. I'm not gonna not say that the greatest, but for fans that comes with a case, they are pretty good fans. So I don't have to replace them right now. So that is not really the point of this video. This is just a rant video. It's not gonna be long either. But there are some things I wanna talk about. Now, using Fedora 40 with uh, now included, KDE, KDE 6 is officially released, right? It's been working really well on my, on my computer. It's been working well with RC2 as well. So I mean like, the only real problem that I have with Wayland, okay, I'm not gonna say it's, it's a KDE problem, it's more of a Wayland problem with the NVIDIA drivers. Um, using AMD, I did test out Fedora on my Lenovo ThinkPad T470, but not really a lot, but it works fine with Wayland. I hadn't used it much because I don't really care too much about laptops. I do like ThinkPads, so don't get me wrong. I, I love ThinkPads. I hate laptops, but I like ThinkPads. Weird, huh? <laughs> I I only like ThinkPad. I don't I don't want I don't want any other laptop. I just want a ThinkPad because I like ThinkPads. Um, yeah, it's something about the ThinkPad I like. I just like the keyboard. I like the little the little red thing. Uh, track pointer thingy. I just like to think that hands on the best mobile laptop ever to exist. Um, but I don't use it that much because I'm a desktop guy. I love desktop computers. I like a keyboard with a physical keyboard. Like I just, I mean mechanical keyboards. You know, I like switches, like laptops. You can get some that, were, that has that. But I just, something about a big box computer where I can just upgrade it and do a lot of stuff with it. As with laptops, eh. it's it's a mobile thing. But talking about mobile computers, I'm gonna be talking about something uh, later on. But anyways, my experience with Fedora, 
has been pretty good. With Wayland, it's been pretty good. Yes, I had some applications like Steam and Discord still flickering with the NVIDIA drivers in Wayland. It does this with GNOME, it does this with anything that runs Wayland. I noticed that with the NVIDIA non-free drivers and Wayland, if you're using Wayland, when it comes to the Discord and Steam window box, I get this flickering kind of glitchiness going on with the window box. Sometimes Discord will turn like completely black. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, but other than that, when it comes to like other applications, works pretty good. The, like the system is pretty stable. Um, when it comes to locking the, the, the PC and going back to the PC, like I have problems with that in the past, as you may notice that I did complain about that in the past, probably have some videos on that. But with Fedora 40, with Wayland, um, locking the screen has been really great with KDE 6 Wayland. I have no issues with that because otherwise I probably would be complaining about that as well. Um, what else? Everything else works pretty good. I have some updates. Things working good. There's n I, did, I didn't have any issues with Fedora. I didn't have any crashes or anything. So like the overall experience for uh, a system that's not released yet is working pretty good in my system. And I think it's only going to get better before, it, like once it does get released, it'll probably be a lot better. But as far as now, I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's been a pretty good experience. I just think NVIDIA needs to update their drivers to work better with Wayland. That's my biggest issue is that NVIDIA needs to get their crap together and, you know, make make their drivers work better with Wayland. Because um, I think Wayland is going to be the default display server for Linux and they're going to do away with X11 pretty soon. Faster than we think it will. People's like, oh, you know, the X11 session still be around and people can't let go of it. But I'm telling you, man, they're going to get rid of it. Like, if you look at Fedora 40 KDE edition, it's strictly just a Wayland system. You could put back the X11 session, perhaps, but out of the box, it's going to be strictly just Wayland. So it's coming to the point where they're going to take X11 display servers completely out of the out of distributions because, um, yeah, it's no one really basically maintaining it. So why key something that's insecure, right, on your system? People are working on uh, Wayland. So that's something you want to consider using more um, because um, they're working on it and it's 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 better. It's actually, I noticed like a difference when it comes for application transitions, maximize and minimize program software it it just works better i find wayland it's not bad people don't want to use wayland because with nvidia drivers and a lot of people use nvidia so yeah that's that's one reason why they don't like wayland too much but the thing is that's what that's what nvidia need to do is really fix their drivers for wayland and i think everybody will be happy with wayland anyways um i'm gonna continue the video with another part here and I'm making a really decision. Like I do have the money for it, but I'm thinking is it worth buying it? Because in Canada, it's quite expensive. And what what am I talking about? I'm talking about I want to get a Steam Deck OLED, the 512 gigabyte model. And I think the Steam Deck looks really interesting. Like I I've been interested with the Steam Deck since it first launched. Like first I first heard about the Steam Deck, I've been interested with it. But I waited, and in a way, in a way, it's good that I waited because now they got a new, improved OLED model, which I would probably prefer. Cause if I if I bought the the original Steam Deck, like on like right away, I probably would regret it so bad because they made a better Steam Deck, which is the OLED. And what's good about the OLED Steam Deck is that they have a better display. It's a little bit bigger. Better battery performance, not by much, but they improved the battery, so that's that's always good, right? Um, they improved, like you know, like the, the the grips on the on the thumbsticks. They improved the like you know the buttons on the device. Uh, better speaker, better haptics, 
and better like haptic feedback on the touch screen and all that like they like overall they improve a lot of little things with the steam deck like little things like 37 new things they improve on the steam deck compared to the original one and also it comes with a nicer carrying case and so yeah it comes with a carrying case it comes with everything and what's what makes me like steam deck a lot and the reason why i want to get one is because i'm a steam gamer and pretty much all my games are on steam i have over five well i have about 500 like i don't have over 500 games and i don't have 500 games i have like 497 games so basically almost 500 games i buy a few games that i have 500 games so i have like close to 500 games on steam alone just steam i, I mean i got a lot of games on play, playstation <laughs> alone so <laughs> yeah i have a lot of games in general more than what i can play in a lifetime because i don't even play half the collection i have but i'm just saying i got a lot of games okay i got a lot of games on steam and me having a steam deck would actually be worth it because i have games to play on it i don't really have to buy games i already have a lot of games that i can play on the device itself and i can play final fantasy 14 as well on it and i, I do play with a controller so the steam deck would feel right at home and also it's portable so i can take it with me i can even take it to work if i wanted to and the, the like the amount of battery life like i only get like an hour break in total so i mean one hour at work with the steam deck it would be perfect like just to play a game on break and actually use it and it's not just a it's not just for gaming was really i like about it it's also a linux based computer you know what i mean it, the steam os it's an arch linux based system you can actually put fedora on it if you want to and use it you can use any linux distribution on it you could actually run windows on it if, you, if someone was stupid enough to do that but uh I mean, sorry, if somebody is running Windows with on the Steam Deck, okay, like, if you like it, you prefer it better, like, I, I get it, like, you, some, some games, like, like, that runs anti-cheat, you cannot do that with Linux operating systems, so I, I can see why some people would use Windows, or they just prefer it more than Linux, sure, but I think the Steam OS is probably going to be the cool thing for the Steam Deck, but I, I do like Fedora as well, so... I could probably make actually Fedora work just like, like, like Steam OS. I I probably just keep Steam OS too as well. I mean, it's not it's not like it's bad. Linux is Linux to me in my my opinion. I probably just keep the original OS on it. Um, but what's cool about it is also the 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 OS is uh, if you go into the desktop, it's it's KDE as well. So I like KDE. KDE is what I use. Uh, so. Like the Steam Deck is really, it's, it's actually a device, like a handheld device made for me. Like totally made for me. I, I, I play Steam games. I like Linux. And it, it's a Linux machine. It's a Linux operating system. I like, um, I like you know, KDE. It, it uses KDE out of the box. And I like that also that they have an iFixit like, tools for the device that Valve actually literally supports and they have video guides on how to you know fix your device it, it's like literally telling you how to like repair and fix the device by yourself without bringing it to any store you can do everything by yourself and they provide I fix it tools for that device there's no company i know that does this that actually you know has all these like stuff for the device the whole device is is modular so you can fix and repair anything on the device itself so long term uh thing with the machine if something breaks on it you can actually get it fixed like easily and it's easily done there's videos there's tools for it that's really cool i mean like I'm not saying that's like the greatest thing in the world, but for like a company like big as Valve to be actually be really con consumer friendly is the best way of saying it and just respecting people. I think that that's really a good thing. Like I respect Valve a lot. I think they're a good company, like compared to most companies, 
compared to most gaming companies as well, I think Valve is pretty much one of the best ever. Like, Gabe is pretty cool. Like, I gotta say, like, he, he's pretty cool for 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 what the company is. I mean, you have ROG Strix, man, as Suze, and they're they make good like preferals and good game and stuff because i use a lot of asus i'm a asus guy in general i i, I game pc with asus and i use asus keyboard i use asus motherboard i use asus cases i, I love asus i'm a big asus fan would i buy the the rog ally alley or ally what it's called no because it's expensive and it's not as good it's a steam deck and it runs windows and i know asus loves to work with windows so I'm not really a big Windows fan. That's like if I buy a Asus computer or I built my own Asus, Asus PC. But if I would own like a pre-built Asus computer, I would first thing I would do I take off Windows. I don't like Windows. But not wrong for using people that likes using Windows. Use it. Personally, I'm just not a Windows guy. I have used Windows a lot many times in the past. I use it with Linux. Like I I had. A lot of Windows computers, and I had a Linux box next to it. You know, like I always use Linux, but I also used to use Windows a lot as well. But I just gave it up because I don't need Windows. I don't really use it that much. I use Linux. I've been using Linux for over what 20, 25 years, I would say. So, and also with Fedora, I've been using it since 2003. And I didn't use it always hardcore, but I, I have used it a lot over the years. I actually tested out every single release from 2003 until right now. I do this every year. I always test out Fedora, even though I get mad at Fedora and there's things that, that goes wrong with 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 the testing. And I just like, I, I ain't got to use the release. And I have done this for the last three years. I got really fed up with testing out Fedora because things always went wrong, especially with NVIDIA drivers. The NVIDIA GPU is great. I love the NVIDIA GPUs. Big fan of it, okay? I, do, I don't I do mind AMD. I know people will brag about it. I do have a bunch of AMD cards. It's just I prefer a, uh, NVIDIA. There's a lot of reasons why I like NVIDIA. I don't have to really state it out. NVIDIA is just a better GPU overall. It's just better. Even I, I do love Intel processors as well. I think Intel processors are really good. Um, but the reason why I don't use Intel CPUs is because they're really expensive. And the motherboard for Intel CPUs are also pretty expensive. So I go with the AMD because AMD is great for gaming, for one thing. And also AMD processors are pretty good. And they are cheaper, and the motherboards are cheaper as well. So I go that route, and it's not like I'm losing a lot out of it, because AMD chips are pretty good, especially the Ryzen CPUs of AMD. They're actually pretty impressive. Like, they are really good. But if I really had a lot of money, if I had a lot of, like, I'm not saying I'm poor or anything, but if I had money to spend, or if I wasn't so cheap, I would probably get intel pcs with the best nvidia graphics because i i think intel processors are a lot better but i do also think they're very overpriced so that's why i don't buy them i could buy them but i don't buy them because i don't find that they are worth the price that they're selling these ch chips for but do i think intel are crappy processors no they're really good very good i actually have a bunch of intel computers I have like Intel iMacs, I have uh, Xenon workstations of HP, I have my ThinkPad, which is a Core i5. Um, I also have a B-Link, another B-Link that's, uh, I don't know, I think it's a Pentium or Celeron? I think it's a Celeron, I don't know. J something. I think it's a Celeron. Quad core Celeron, but it's an Intel machine. That's that's for sure. It's same as my ThinkPad's an Intel machine. Anyways, so I am really thinking of getting the Steam Deck OLED, five hundred twelve gigabytes. In Canada, 
this thing is six hundred and eighty dollars for retail. That's not included shipping and taxes. It's pretty expensive. I can afford one, yes, because I got a nice tax return, but should I buy one? It's the question. I do like Steam. I play all my games on Steam. I play basically one game. But with the Steam Deck, I probably play other games on it because it's just, I can just bring it to my bed, lay down and play a game. I can bring it on the couch and just, you know, chill in the living room and play it. I could play it outside, like in a nice hot sunny day, like in the summertime. I mean, like it's portable. I could bring it, or I could bring my games with me if I go visit people, you know. Um, maybe that's kind of rude to just play games when you visit somebody, but sometimes, uh, you know, whatever. It's cool. The Steam Deck is really neat. I had a Switch. I gave it to my brother. I didn't care for it. I actually bought a lot of things for it. I just gave it away. Like, I literally just like, here. I gave it to my brother. I gave it to him. I could have sold it to him. He offered me money. I said, no. Just take it. I don't use it. I've been collecting dust for years. Like, I... I, I played with it for a few months and I just stopped playing with it. And the reason why is because I don't really, I don't know, I'm not really a Nintendo guy. Like, I think Nintendo's a horrible company. Some games I like by Nintendo. I like the Zelda. I like, I like, I like the exclusive games that Nintendo has, like with Pokemon and all that stuff. But, I don't know. Over the years, just seeing how Nintendo is and just how they are, it's just, the device that they, the, the Switch is not that great either. Um, it's not really that good of a device. I had the original Switch. I like the old is probably better. But I had the original Switch. I mean, it was it was good for what it is, but I just never use it much. I, I have a PlayStation 4 I barely touch as well. I used to play a lot on PlayStation years ago. Um, but I'm a I'm a PC gamer. I always have been, and I think I've just been more more and more of a PC gamer. Cause I used to use PlayStation a lot because I used to use free BSD on my computer, so I didn't really play much PC games. Cause I would just use that as an excuse. I got a PlayStation. I can just play games on PlayStation, which I have for many years. So I would just use free BSD on my computer because I, I really like FreeBSD a lot, and I still do till this day. I think it's the best source base and binary source distribution out there. The only problem I don't like about FreeBSD is that it doesn't have any Steam support. I mean, it can probably run Steam, and it probably can run some Steam games, but it's not as good as Linux. And until FreeBSD can be right in the same level as Steam gaming on Linux, like like Linux, I mean, I probably just stick with FreeBSD as an operating system because I I do like FreeBSD a lot. I'm actually gonna take off my Arch Linux system on my other NVMe disk on this PC and actually put FreeBSD release on this box here and play around with FreeBSD and try to see what I can do with Steam gaming on it just for fun. I know I won't be as good as Linux, but it'd be fun to just you know really do some testing with that because that'd be kind of interesting and kind of cool to see for myself. Uh, so anyways, um, the other video is getting quite long, but what do you guys think? Should I get a Steam Deck? Like, I, I like Linux, I like Steam games, I like PC gaming, and the Steam Deck has all that. I, I think handhelds are pretty cool. Um, I did like the Switch for that reason of portability, but I didn't really care for the, the Nintendo games, and Nintendo games are quite expensive. But since I have a lot of games already on Steam, like if I buy the device, I have games for it to for it to play on. Like and what I play on for the most part, I like playing PC games because I play all my games on Steam, and I play I play games on PC because Steam is a PC platform. So, yeah, that's that's why I like PC gaming because of Steam. So the Steam Deck makes sense for me, as that's where I play my games on anyways. And it, it's a Steam, it's made by Steam itself, right? So, and I like the, the fact that it's, it's repairable, it's easy to take apart, it's easy to repair things on the device. So like, the device can last 
a long, long time. There's a whole big community about it. There's people that will support you. There's there's a lot of support. Like you can go to like a Discord and and people will support you. You can go to Reddit. People will comment you. And if you if you're trying to fix a device or having trouble, you could ask questions and people will help you out. Like the 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 community behind the deck is great because it's, it's it's a Linux community, and Linux community has always been good, right? But Steam Deck is, is like a Linux device, you know, like it's powered by Linux. Like the operating system is Arch Linux. Steam OS is a Linux based system. The the device is Linux. It's open. Like it's it's a lot better than any other device you're gonna buy. Like any console that you're gonna buy, it's not really a console. It's like a PC, but it, it's it's like a PC. It could be a PC. It also could be a, a console. And it also plays games and is portable and it's really everything great. I, there's nothing really I can look at the Steam Deck and say like I don't I don't hate it. I really love this device. But six hundred and eighty dollars retail price to me personally is a lot of money in Canada. I could afford one and I'm very fortunate to afford one. But is it's just me like would I would I use it a lot? That's the question. I probably will. The reason why I didn't like switch too much because it didn't have Linux on it. It was just a, the switch, right? It just played Nintendo games. The thing about Steam Deck, it's it's a Linux computer. So basically I can use it as a Linux desktop as well. And I can play games on it as well. I can actually even stream my game that's right on the PC onto the Steam Deck. So don't have to use the hardware that much. And it also probably save a lot of battery just by streaming it onto the display itself in the living room. Um, so there's that. I don't know, man. I think it's worth buying one of these machines. Or should I wait for a Steam 2? Steam Deck 2. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I get one or should I not get one? Like, it, like I, I really think it's a nice device, though. I really would like to have one. Uh, I would actually enjoy it a lot. Hmm. It's, it's a, it's a decision I have to make, right? But yeah, but I, I will say good things about it. Like from what I, from what it is. I think it's a device that I would totally love to have. Like if it was a gift from Valve, they just send me one. That'd be really cool. Like I I would really appreciate that, but that would never happen. But yeah, the device looks really awesome and I would like to get one. But to me, as a, I'm not a cheap skater thing, but it's pretty pricey. I think it should be at least $500 like retail for the 512 gig uh model and 680 for the one terabyte because I, I do kind of find it's kind of expensive in canada united states they get they get it cheaper but in canada it's a little bit more expensive and yeah it's it's not worth it personally i don't find it's worth it but i do like it i really want to get one i don't know i'm, I'm really i'm thinking about it so so i might get one i might get one just because it's Linux based and I like the I like all I like the whole ecosystem of Valve and how they really just made a device for, for gamers that can actually fix it up, mod it. You can even put mods on it. You can actually modify it to be different and just you could do a lot of cool things with the device. It's it's really cool. I think the Steam Deck is really cool all around. Like I think it's a great little device. Has a great community. It has it's, it's it's using open source software. Like the operation is all open source. I like Linux. Linux is the only thing I use. I, I, I that's another reason why I like the Steam Deck because it's Linux based and it it supports Linux. It supports KDE. It supports everything that I really love. That I want to. I, I support myself just by using it. I don't really support my money. But buying a Steam Deck, it's like supporting all this. Plus, 
plus I could be part of the the Steam Deck community, which seems really really cool as well. Cause I I kind of belong there. I'm 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 a nerd. Like I like this these kind of gadgets and devices, and I really love the Steam Deck. Like I love the Steam Deck since I heard, first heard about it. Like I just overall, they're a pretty cool thing. The reason why I didn't got the Steam Deck when it first came out is because the battery life really was, eh, you know what I mean. But the new OLED screen, uh, OLED device. The battery life has been a little bit more improved. So that's actually making me consider to get one. Plus it's OLED, plus it did a little bit of tweaks on a lot of things. And just it being a Linux base and repairable and all that stuff. And you can also dock it and it can be a really good little desktop computer as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of benefits to this i can even dock it and hook up to my big screen tv in the living room and play steam from the couch with that device as well um there's a lot of things you can do with it it's, it's really probably something i would use a lot so i would definitely not be wasting my money i'd be actually buying the, a device that i would most likely be using so yeah, I know the video is quite long and I'm really geeking out on this Steam Deck. But, I don't know. Should I buy one? <laughs> Got one life to live, right? Might as well live it with a Steam Deck in my hands. Well, I got some thinking to do before I, 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 I blow some money away. Um, but, I think... If I do buy a Steam Deck, I won't regret it. But if I don't buy it, then I'll have money saved up. So it's... It's, uh, eh. Anyways, thanks for the watch, guys. Have a good one. And by the way, Fedora 40 is a really good system. Um, if I do get the Steam Deck, I probably will test out Fedora 40 on it. That would be kind of fun. Anyways, guys, cheers.